Hi, in this video we're going to look at input, output or I.O. configuration. Now first if we just have a look again uh, at the stage boxes available. Um, so there's this 24 in, 12 out main sort of stage box option, um, D-Snake should I say. And then there's this 8 input, 4 output version which can be expanded from this one. So this one connects to your GLD mixer through cap 5, one cap 5 and then linking from here to this one you can link it through another cap 5 or you could link uh, this AB168 to your AR2412. So the, the, the configuration that I've got in the example is one AR2412 and one AR84 which gives us a total of 32 inputs and 16 outputs. So heading over to GLD um, editor if you go to I.O. Here we can see the D-Snake where you've got those 24 inputs and 60, 12 outputs and then on the expansion um, where we're just using these. Um, it's simple to assign, we just want to go from 1 to 24 in this case. So we've got 1, input 1, position 1, just go through to 24 apply and it will put them there as they're already there on your outputs again um, I've decided because the D snake expander um, is actually a another connection that could go wrong if you like um, the, the thing that I don't want to go wrong is the front of house for, uh, mostly so um, just to be on the safe side I've got the front of house stuff in the D snake um, and then the auxes starts at five so that is aux five in socket five six seven eight nine and then on the D snake you've got auxes one two three four um, and so again you can see here we've got the LR left LR right center sub and then here um, we'll have another sub maybe on the other side so we'll just go down to outputs Da, 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 da. Oh no, because it's aux 10. So we'll go to mono aux. Go to t aux 10. There you go, apply. And there you go, you've got the extra sub output. Obviously on the inputs, you can't assign two sockets to be the same input because it will get confused which to listen to. But on your outputs, you can just duplicate the same output on as many as you like. Going over to the surface here, we've got the radio mics, uh, three radio mics, you've got the talkback mic in 44, we've got the CD player and the MP3 player and 3940, channel 3940 is for the USB playback. Uh, on the outputs, I've set an XLR, RCA, digital SPDIF and AES all, and the USB record all have the same output which is just the record out so there's lots of options if you want to record in different ways you could do uh, because I've no other use at the moment for those so I thought I might as well give every option available for recording and then just use this channel here for your side fill which will probably be nearer to the desk anyway don't need to worry about all this um, because we're not using the console in a monitor fashion um, that's mostly useful for monitor stuff so um, as long as you've set this up um, it'll be all good to go so in the next video we're going to have a look at meters 